So that's today's question. Why does my dog eat non-edible items? So I'm sure you've heard, or maybe you even have a dog that eats things that they shouldn't eat. And some things are not so disturbing, but some things are kind of disturbing when they're eating uh, feces, for example. Um, but what do we do? What, what, what's up with that, Andre? Well, I think the very first thing we need to do if it becomes excessive is to make sure that we do a medical check, to make sure there's not a medical issue going on with the dog. Mm -hmm. uh, and often there is. Often there's a physical reason for the dog to be ingesting whatever it is they're ingesting. Right. So the very first thing you want to do is, is get to your vet and explain the issue. And they've seen this before. Yeah. They know what to look for. They know how to diagnose these types of issues. Right. So that's absolutely the first thing you need to do. Get to your vet. Right. So if your dog is eating rocks, for example, um, it, it, it's a serious thing. If your dog is eating things that, that really can be harmful, um, I'm sure you've seen on the internet uh, those pictures of the x-rays of dogs and try, right. to, try to guess what the right. dog has eaten. What's So that's, that's pretty disturbing, eh? It's very Andre? disturbing, and, and I would make sure I would go to my vet when the dog does this in excess. Mm -hmm. But then there's the dog, of course, who just walking along decides to eat a rock, eat something, eat a piece of paper, right. uh, eat uh, a stick. Chicken bone, I've seen that. I was walking the dog, and he just wanted to eat a, yeah. a drumstick that was left out, maybe fell out of a garbage. So actually pinpointing why dogs do that mm -hmm. kind of thing, I don't, I don't think you have to get complicated. I think, personally, I think they do it because they're dogs. Right. And they like the smell and they like the taste, mm -hmm. and uh, they're just going to do what dogs do sometimes. Right. Um, so that yeah. could be that could be a behavioral uh, modification. That could be something that you can treat with with training, um, or as we mentioned earlier, it could also be a medical issue that you want to uh, check with your vet about. If it's a behavior issue that you want help with, there's lots of things we can do, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, at the school here, we have one of our favorite exercises that we call the on-by exercise. Yeah. And most people have never heard of it until they come to the school here. And uh, it's uh, an amazing behavior we teach the dogs that we teach them to ignore things on the ground. And it works incredibly well. Uh, basically, we, we tell them paying attention to me is going to be of higher benefit than paying attention to what's on the ground. Yeah. Um, that's the basis of it, and it works incredibly well. And that's certainly one of the first things you can do. Uh -huh. Get your dog directed elsewhere um, than what's on the ground, what they're finding interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so the on-by command, if you've taken a class here, then uh, you know all about that, and we use it all the time with our dogs. Yeah. Uh, there are other things we can do, you know, other refocusing devices, mm -hmm. other uh, attention getting devices when you see your dog's a little bit too engrossed in something. Also, when you see your dog has something in his or her mouth, you, of course, can teach the dog to drop what they've got in their mouth. And again, mm -hmm. these are behavioral changes that are, that are quite, quite teachable. Right. right. That's not those. Those aren't rocket science, and we right. do it all the time. Yeah. So just to recap, for behavioral issues, we can do a drop it command. Yes. We can do an on by command, which is ignoring the item. Yes. Exactly. Um, and if it's a serious issue, which requires medical attention, yes. for example, your dog is eating non-food items that can get stuck right. in their digestive yeah. tract and does it repetitive, repetitively, um, you might want to get make sure that your dog doesn't have right. something like pica um, or any other medical, uh, medical issue. So go to your vet get, straight away. Get to your vet and your vet can help you with that. Okay. Good. So why does my dog eat, do that, eat that? Um, sometimes there's just no clear answer, but there's always a solution. Bye.